Hey everybody, Stacy here. How y'all doing? Um, I think I may have solved my problem with the glare. I told y'all yesterday I was fixing to solve that problem, and I think I've done it. Okay, now I got good light because I got the light on my tripod turned on, and um, I've got a, a cardboard box over one of the fan blades that's in front of that light. So, I'm hoping that that is going to block the glare. I've, I've, I've experimented with it a little bit, and I could tell that it was already helping somewhat. So, um, we'll see how good it does at the end of this. Um, at the end of this video, when I get ready to try to show y'all everything. Um, I haven't done this in a really long time. Um, but in making these pieces for friends and, you know, other people um, that are coming to look at my work, I thought, well, the only thing I haven't, I've done several flip cups with each color combination. I've done swipes. I've done even an open cup with one of them. And I thought, well, the one thing I haven't done is a Shelly Art inspired pour. So I said, well, I probably ought to do that. So I'm going to do a hair dryer swipe. Um with uh, these colors that uh, were picked by a friend of mine. And uh, yeah, I had to think to remember how to mix everything. It's been, you know, a long time since I've done this. But um, I think it will come back to me. Uh, I like these. They're probably my favorite Shelly Art kind of pour to do. Um, I have been able to do them on a large scale, you know, with a big canvas like this. Not only the swipes, but individual blooms. Um, I, uh, you know, I know some people, I, I struggled for a long time uh, with the larger size canvases. Um, with individual blooms, getting those to work out right. There's some gunk in here for some reason. This paint's been sitting up. I didn't know what shape it was going to be in. It, I don't know where the gunk came from, but there's a little gunk. Anyway, um, I got these colors mixed up, and I've mixed my cell activator. That right there is Glidden Premium Base 1. That's what I use for a pillow. My colors are mixed with Glidden Premium Base 3. Um three parts that to one part bright tone varnish or you can use polyacrylic or whatever varnish you like to use. To me, bright tone is the very best. It came on the recommendation of Jen Neal, who I believe is like the bloom expert. I love um, everything she does. Um, and um, anyway, that was there's a bug. Get out of here, bug. Anyway, that um, was, uh, she started using Bright Tone and um, recommended it to me. She's the one that taught me how to do them. Um, I was having problems. This is some cerulean blue. Um, this is um, heavy uh, body acrylics. Um, and I buy them sometimes. Um, this is just a little caveat here. Um, I buy them sometimes. Uh, these are Master's Touch Heavy Body Acrylics. I buy them sometimes because of the color variations. You can get some really neat colors um, if you buy the Heavy Body Acrylics. And theoretically, it's supposed to, you're supposed to use less of them in mixing your paint. I haven't found that to be altogether true. Um, I still use a good bit of paint in mixing mine, but I like a lot of paint. I like for my colors to be very brilliant and bright, um, you know, and deep. So, um, maybe they can get by with mixing less. I don't like to mix a whole, maybe some, it's maybe somewhat less, but just not a whole lot, I don't think. Um, I thought I mixed some dioxazine purple. I guess I didn't. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's amethyst, deco art amethyst there, and this is some deco art emerald green. Uh, I like that green. It's beautiful. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, Glidden Premium uh, Semi-Gloss. 
is what changed everything for me. Because I was using that Color Smart paint that you get at Walmart. Because I had read you could. It's somewhere in the reading. I don't know what videos I was watching or who said it. But somebody that is well respected, because that's the only videos I watch, had said you could substitute that stuff. Well, in my opinion, you damn sure can't. Because mine would crack. They would crease. They were um, terrible. Um about um about crazy and uh i never i tried everything i tried adding some uh you know gac 800 to it i tried adding and usually i do add a little gac to my pillow i didn't this time because i forgot but i usually do add a little bit to it but i have not had a problem with crazing with this good and premium paint even without the gac um i've done it both ways I just add it for insurance, but you don't have to. I mean, uh, I, I've not had a... Let me put it this way. I haven't had a problem with crazing with the gluten premium paint with or without GAC. So, um, I add it just for insurance. But this time I didn't because I forgot. Um, anyway, so that base one for your pillow, base three for your colors... And then you add whatever varnish you want. So it's three parts paint in your color. In the solution that you're going to mix your colors with. Um, it is three parts paint. Gluten Premium Semi Gloss Base 3. And one part um, of your varnish. So if you use a cup like this, it's going to be one cup of varnish and three cups of Gluten Premium Paint. Mix that together real good. Okay. Now... Um, for the cell activator, um, I'm using a white one this time. I do make colored ones, um, black and, you know, just all different colors. Um, they work just as well, um, with the, the recipe that I use, which is, um, oh, itchy. Um, three tablespoons, two or, well, two parts, let me put it that way. Two parts Amsterdam white, titanium white paint. And I add one part glue. And then uh, I add a little silicone to mine. And I vary this part. Sometimes I just do the um, Amsterdam paint and Floetrol. Sometimes I do, um, usually I do paint, two parts paint, one part glue. Um, and about four parts Floetrol, or three parts Floetrol. Um, this cup right here has got about that much paint, and then a little dollop of glue, and the rest is Floetrol. Okay, see how much that is? Um, if you would like to know a more detailed, um, you know, breakdown on that, I can look and see what it is. Um, but I kind of, at this point, eyeball it. Um, so I can look and see if you, if anybody wants a more detailed description of that, of the way that goes. Because at first, there's that bug again. Go away. You just want to die. I didn't want to kill him, but he keeps wanting to commit suicide in the middle of my painting. Um, at first I measured it exactly. Um, the cell activator, I don't do that anymore, but, um, I add the silicone, not everybody does that. Um, I just do. Um, I'm going to give this in a minute. If it's still got a bunch of bubbles, I'm going to give it a quick torch. The Bright Tone creates a lot of bubbles. I will say that. Um, but they go away. They don't ever appear in my finished product. But right when you first pour it like this, you see there's bubbles everywhere. And I got alarmed and I was freaking out. And, and so sometimes if I've blown it out or done whatever I'm going to do to it, and I still see bubbles, I will give it a quick torch. I don't I don't hang on it very long any place. I just like go real quick. And it doesn't seem to hurt anything. I try not to have to do that. Um, because I have had some issues. Um, let's get the hair dryer and um, give this thing a blow and see how it turns out. Hang on a minute because I have to get this organized. I haven't used, oh, it's still plugged in. I was gonna say. I haven't used this in forever, and I thought I was going to have to go through some trouble. All right, use your hair dryer. Um, I use Hive, 
and and low um, at different times, and I and be sure and put it on cool. You don't want to cook that cook it. If you put it on that hot temperature setting, it will it'll cook. It will screw it up. All right, let's see what we got. I like it. I'm gonna let it sit for just a second. Let that paint move back into. Uh, you don't have to worry about that as much with these kind of swipes like this, like you do with the bloom. How you have to let the paint come back into the center. I, I try to do it, um, but they can be um, uh, tilted if they're not completely all the way perfectly back into the center, because it's just so much paint you're dealing with. I do see some little air bubbles over there. Because I had to stir this paint. And you see how quickly I'm doing that. Just where I see the bubbles, I'm very quickly. Because it leaves little pinpricks where the bubbles were. But that's okay. When we, I do it at this juncture because when I tilt it, it's going to smooth those out. It's going to be fine. But when I see them like that, I had to mix that paint because it's been sitting up. And I knew it was going to create some bubbles. Uh, when you buy your paint and everything, be sure and don't let them mix it at the store. You know, they may want to mix it for you. Don't let them do that. Um, that will cause you 10 kinds of hell. Because it creates bubbles just you can't believe. I have had some before that got mixed. They didn't ask me. I didn't know they had done it. But I knew when I got it home because um, there were just uh, a crazy amount of bubbles uh, everywhere. Um, and it was horrible. And I, all right, I'm trying to keep this where y'all can kind of see. That's beautiful right over here in this corner. I love that. I want to save that part. I'm going to get my hand up here and make a little dam. So, uh, it'll go over the edge and cover the edge, but not all that pretty stuff will go off. If I can help it. I want to save all that stuff that's pretty. That gold and everything. I'm pouring a little bit this way because I got just some white and dull looking and stuff going on in this corner. I got plenty of paint. I don't have any room for dull looking stuff. I think this is pretty. I think it's turning out like a pr bunch of pretty colors. To me, the colors are really brilliant with this Shelly Art recipe. Um, it makes for really bold, really deep, um, pretty colors. And uh, the lacing, of course, is, is unique and um, unique to that kind of uh, method. And um, I can get lacing on my other pores too, but it's not the same. You know, it's not the same. Okay. Uh-oh. I nearly dropped it. Okay. 
Okay, I know y'all can't see right now. I'll get get it back where you can in just a second. I just want to right. get it over here like this. I'm just trying to pull all of that good stuff back down. And I got to get my fingers out of the way over there. I have a bad habit of getting my fingers uh, right on the edge of the canvas. And when you're tilting from that side, if your fingers are up on the edge of the canvas like that, it'll influence the way the paint goes and it'll screw it up. It's got some beautiful lacing in it. I'm just pulling all the lacing down um, a little further so I can, um, So I can stretch it a little more. These are, it takes me a while to manipulate these because I change my mind a lot about how I want them to look. Um, you know, I tilt them a lot more than I do my regular paintings. Um, just because of their nature, you know, the way they are. Um, I want to see a whole lot of the lacing. Um, I'm going to get this white corner. I know y'all can't see it all. I'm sorry. But there's a corner down here that's just completely white, and I don't need that. I need some color. And then, uh, after I get that done, I'm almost done, I think. It's beautiful. Um, I think this is really pretty. Okay, come on. It just moves so slow compared to the other way we do. Um, I'm letting the paint run down that side. And um, I accidentally smooshed my finger into this corner a little bit so I'm letting it cover that okay it's like pouring a shit ton of paint all right that's good I still didn't get that corner the way I want it that's better I think that's gorgeous I don't know what do y'all think I think it's really cool. And I'm not going to torch it again. I only do that uh, because you can get pin pricks. If you torch a lot, you can get these pin pricks. And um, I don't want the pin pricks. Um, they happen because of the air bubbles popping. And as long as you torch right before you tilt, it works out okay. Because see, no pin pricks. It's because of when I torch. If I were to do it now, there's probably still some really small air bubbles there even though i can't see them and it, they would pop and they would make openings into the white and since i've already tilted i couldn't do anything about it so let's look up close see what y'all think let me clean this uh lens i don't do that very often and it looks a lot better when i do <laughs> all right well, darn it, uh, now I'm really confused because, um, this is beautiful, and, um, I had already picked one that I thought I was gonna give to this person, but now I'm really confused because this is really pretty. Um, look at that wispy blue and white line. That's pretty. <sighs> I think the colors are beautiful. Look, no glare, y'all. No glare. I am so proud of myself. That's beautiful. See, there's no glare up there. Is there? Or is there? There's still a little glare. Yeah, right there. I'll have to... Um, let's see here. My, my fan has moved a little bit. All right. Let's see if that fixes it. Oh, it's moving back. Yeah, there's still a little glare, but it's only through, it's only on part of the canvas. Before, it was all over everywhere. It's better, okay? It's a work in progress. I'll have to hit it again with some new idea. Uh, something, I'll have to come up with something. I don't know. 
anyway, um, thank y'all for joining me. Please let me know what you think of this because um, this one and one of the other ones I did are my two choices. I can't remember which one of the other ones I'd tell you, but um, this one I think is going to be the one. But y'all let me know what y'all think because um, I need to give this to somebody and it's important to me that I, you know, that I give them the very best one. And like I said, there's the whole thing. Um, I think this is probably going to be it, but y'all let me know what you think. Okay, y'all have a wonderful day. Look at my messy room. Oh my God, look at that mess. Oh boy. <laughs> Looks like a mad person works in here because a mad person does work in here. Anyway, you guys, thanks for all the comments and you know, uh, you new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I'm working really hard on trying to build it up and um, every bit of support means everything to me. I love talking to y'all. I love um, comments and questions and interest of any kind. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything, if you want to talk to me personally, I love doing that. Um, I put my email address on most of the descriptions of my videos. Some of them I forget, but most of the time they're on there. It's stacywellsartistry at gmail.com, and my name is spelled S-T-A-C-E-Y. So it's S-T-A-C-E-Y-W-E-L-L-S-A-R-T-I-S-T-R-Y -L -L -S -S at gmail.com. And it'll be on the description of the videos. Um, so you can email me if you want it, me. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. You can email me if you want to, and I'll give you my phone number. We can talk on the phone. If you're having a problem, if you have a question about this or stained glass or resin or cement monuments or cement in general, um, any of those things, you know, I'm happy to talk about it. I love to talk to people about art. So anything you want to discuss or bring up or just tell me what you're working on, you know, um, say hi, whatever. I'm totally available for that. I love it. So anytime. Um, and some of y'all have done that and I've talked to y'all on the phone and we check in with each other ever so often. And Hey, what are you working on? Oh, what are you working on? You know, it's fun. Anyway, I appreciate y'all being here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe from the storm. Talk to you soon.